and welcome back to the channel and guess what we hit 11k this video was supposed to come out when i actually hit 10k but this took me a while to edit so i'm sorry guys but thank you so much last tutorial i went over hair physics and now that we're all done with our head i'm gonna move on to the body stuff which gets a little tricky especially depending on how complex your model is or what you want it to look like this will be a very simple body XY tutorial. I will be making a separate tutorial for more advanced body XY techniques, but I just want to keep it really simple for now. And then using whatever you learned from me, hopefully you could incorporate that into your own model. As always, draw out or look up a reference for how you want your angles to look. This might be more important in the next tutorial video, which will be the body Z. Body Z is when you lean your head left and right and your body will lean left and right. Some people like to do stepping motions, some people like to do like tilting motions, or just sliding motions. That one's a little more tricky, that's saved for the next tutorial that I will suffer through. Today is body X and Y, we'll be looking left and right with our body, as well as going up and down with our body. So without further ado, let's get into live 2D. Okay, so first of all, let's look at our parameters. Here is my body folder. And if you watch my head angles X, Y, and Z, I did the same thing for my body X, Y, and Z. I made new parameters for body X, Y, Z physics here. And then in my inputs folder, I have my body X, Y, Z here. So the body X, Y, Z here are the defaults. And the body physics here are the physics that our body X, Y, Z will make move. And we're adding physics here because we want that bounce. If you don't want that bounce, you can rig your angles directly onto the inputs I have here. But if you accidentally rig them on either or and you want to switch it over, it is pretty easy to change those two. So besides those, I have a lot more parameters here that are not part of the default list, obviously. A lot of them I won't be going over today. For example, my stepping left and right, this is going to be for body Z. And then my arms, I'll make a separate video for. It's if you want to add more physics to your arms, make them bounce up and down and make them more flowy and make your model a little more dynamic. And of course we have here our booba physics that I put into the body folder. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of booba, so I will not be going over the booba in this video, but I will be making a separate booba physics video if you guys want that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but today we're just focusing on body X and Y physics here. And I do have these set to positive 30 and negative 30, and then our defaults at zero. So once you have these made, Let's go ahead and start rigging our body. So for my personal taste for body X, when our torso moves to the left and right, I like to keep it to the top torso area mostly. I know some people like to make the entire body look left and right so they'll have their feet move as well and their legs. If you're into that, you can do that. I'll be doing just my torso part because that's what I like. So it's more like a twist of the body. So opening up my warps over here, I'm gonna find my torso. We'll check if that has everything I need. Yes. You'll notice that my sleeves and my arms are separate from my torso because our arms are a completely different beast. But I'm going to grab everything under my torso warp and give it a quick standard deformation. Now, sometimes when you do the auto mesh, it will mess up and cause some of your layers to go invisible. If that happens, just hit Ctrl Z to undo it and you can keep auto meshing until it meshes it correctly or you can just go ahead and just manually mesh it if it doesn't work. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries for it to mesh correctly so that the art's not all glitched out but just a heads up, I know some people have had issues with that. And then everyone's clothes are gonna be really different so rigging this will be really different for a lot of people. But luckily, since my clothes are pretty simple, I hope that it'll be easy to apply what I teach you to your model. Let's just first take my overalls that are above my shirt. I'm gonna put those into its own separate warp. Okay, got that all in one warp. And then I'm gonna add a body XY warp to this. And we're just gonna use most of the tools we use for the angle XYZ for our body. Except it'll be a little different since obviously it's the body. I'm gonna change my Bezier edit type to smooth all and increase all of my little gray dots and add more of the green dots. And then I'm going to add three keyforms onto my body X physics. 
turn all the way over to positive 30 which is of course us looking over to the right take my brush deform tool and take my chest and just shift click and drag it over to the right and then we'll sort of get that movement here now i'm just gonna edit this until it looks right And then this is going to be a bit of a sketch warp layer, so I will be editing my straps to look less weird like this later. But you'll notice that here, I have a gap here. Since I only have one layer here, it's, it's pretty two-dimensional, and usually, you know, this would be out here more. You could take this corner here and just push it out so that it just stays there, but I sort of don't like that look. So that's why I actually prepared a layer here. If you look on the warps, I have a top plus. So if I go to default here, I take my top plus out of this warp, and then I turn my body X over to the side, you'll see that this stays right there. Now I actually made this top layer here kind of disappear on this side. So when it turns, it will be like the cloth is moving this way. So I'm gonna put a separate warp on my top plus layer. It's still body x y add keyform and then i'm gonna move the top so that it matches up with my top layer here it's a little awkward i should have made the top plus not have this top fit here honestly but i'm just gonna make this mesh a little more heavy and then go into the actual layer add keyforms there and then fix this up a bit Now I'm going to go into my top layer, also do the same thing, and touch up the actual mesh with keyforms. Now it's looking a little more seamless. Honestly, for my standards, for my own model, that's good enough for me. And I'm going to do that by right-clicking one of my keyforms, clicking select. And this will select everything that has a body X keyform on it. And then I'm just going to reflect all of those over. And bam! Now that I have the general sketch, I'm just going to go in and refine everything. I'm going to add warps to the straps specifically and tweak those. And then tweak all my corners here and how I want this pocket to look. So it's just going to be a lot of refining. Alright, I think this is something decent enough. I also have my overall shadow here separated. So I'm going to grab that shadow here, put it into my body XY warp, see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to quickly edit this so I can have the shadow here on the other side and everything. Alright, that looks a little better. Obviously, our shirt under is looking really flat, so let's go ahead and rig that as well. I'm gonna put my shirt bits into their own line. And then I'm gonna add a body XY. And then I'm basically gonna do the same thing I did for the overalls, but for the shirt. It's gonna be a little trickier because we do have these shoulders here. But I'll speed through it and you guys just, just watch. Just sit back and watch. Alright, that's looking a little better. It's gonna look a little awkward here with the arms since they aren't moving, but we'll get to the arms soon. Obviously now my necklace is looking out of place, so I'm gonna go ahead and rig that in. You know, there were some guides I remember looking at to help make jewelry look nice, but I completely forgot them. So, this is all I got for now. If you guys don't already, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, there are so many awesome live 2D guides out there that teach you how to do really cool things with stuff like glue or just or just the mesh or there's like blending stuff. There's also the new blend shapes. 
I have still not looked into all of that yet. So I don't want to teach any of it until I kind of know what I'm doing with them yet. But look them up. They're really good. Especially if you have something really specific you want to rig nicely. Try finding a tutorial or guide somewhere. Honestly, I get a lot of live 2D tutorials on my TikTok. And some of them are like mind-blowing things I've never thought I could do. So yes, if you guys have the time, try looking up some cool things to learn. Or just play around with stuff in live 2D with random stuff. You won't regret it. Trust me. Anyway, I have my necklace rigged in. And my torso looking left and right. And I do like to move my belt a little bit since this is contorting a bit. So I'm going to do that really quick. Alright, that's looking good enough to me. As always, please make your rig look better than mine. So let's move on to doing body X for the arms. So it doesn't look so awkward. Going over to my arms warp deformer. I'm going to first separate my arms into left and right. Okay, now I'm going to take my right arm here. Select everything here. And I'm going to put it into a body X Y one. Double check you have everything on your arm here, including your sleeve and whatever bracelets or whatever you have on your arm. I'm going to add my keyframes and then move it over to the right here. And I'm going to push this in. And I'm pushing it in until my sleeve meets my shoulder here. Make that a bit, a little more natural. If you want to have more oomph into your rotation of body X, you can put this in a lot more and then adjust some things. For now, I'm going to keep it simple. I might change it in the future, but just for now. Because I want to make this a quick tutorial or quick-ish so I can finish editing it and get it out. Because I've been very distracted this past week. Uh, over to the left, I'm going to push it outwards. Push out a little more. And you know what? I'll do the same for the other side. Okay, now it looks like our arms are... In our body, It'll look a little better when we reflect the arm over. I will quickly tweak my shoulder skin here. Selecting my body, I'm gonna add body XY onto that as well. And then the keyframes that pops out, I'm just gonna get back in. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna select my entire arm here that I just rigged. I'm gonna select all child objects, copy paste. And we're going to flip that over, reflecting body X horizontally. We'll move the other way. Now, I have a bracelet on this arm, so it's not completely symmetrical to this arm. I'm just going to drag my bracelet art into that folder I just, and then delete everything in the original arm for that. And then I have to move my layers around because not in the right order here. So there we go. And then it should be selected and copied. Now, honestly, it looks a little bland because I don't have a lot of things that help show the dimension of my clothes when I turn. If you have booba, it'll be really nice to make them look really nice when they turn because then it actually looks like you're turning. But little illusions like the clothes popping out this way and everything slightly turned to the side will really help. And don't worry if your movement looks really subtle when you're rigging it because when you're actually using the model, it will look a lot more impressive. Of course, it varies from model to model, but just heads up. Now, as a little additional movement to really bring in that I'm turning left and right for the body, I'll be moving my neck shot. Now, now I'm all, now I'm actually going to put my shadow to angle X. So I'm going to add an angle XY deformer to my neck shadow. Now, if you're using standard tracking programs like VTube Studio, your body X will actually correspond with your angle x so when you look left and right your body will also look left and right so you could actually just rig all of your body x into angle x but it is a lot better to separate them especially for animation and inverting movement in vtube studio which i will explain much later when we actually have everything rigged but anyway i'll be rigging my neck shadow angle x which I should have done in the angle X, Y video, but honestly, there was a lot in that video, so quickly do it over here. If you don't have your neck shadow separated from your neck, I really recommend that you do because it just adds so much more dimension, as you can see here. I will also quickly do angle Y. Then I'll quickly synthesize these corners and touch up the corners if needed. 
All right, and I'm just gonna add extended interpolation, and I'm done with that. Sorry for having a random angle XY in my body XY video, but just if you guys forgot, there it is. Because I forgot, obviously. Now I'm basically done with my body X here. As I said, I usually only like the top part moving because usually that's all you see anyway. I know some people like to make their bottom half move and maybe this leg will kick in when you're looking this way and the other leg will kick in when you're looking this way. Body is gonna vary very differently between all models, so do what you want to. Next, I'll be going into body Y, which I think is always super fun because I love the Y physics. As I said, for the hair, I love the Y physics. So this will just make your model squat down and go on their tippy toes up. In my case, even more on my tippy toes. It just adds a lot more bounce to the model. But if you're not into that or you're on the free version and you're conserving your warps, you can just skip body Y. But if you want a really nice dynamic model, body Y, you gotta do, okay? Trust me. So first, I usually just like to take everything except my legs and put them into one warp. So that would be my head, my hips, my torso, my neck, and my arms here that I have separated on the side. I'm gonna put that into body X wide for me. Now, I'm not gonna put body X on this warp deformer, but I am still naming it body X Y because it's a lot easier for when I try to search up my warps that you can do in the part section here. Honestly, you guys should be naming it to whatever works for you guys. I will be going into adding keyframes to my body Y physics. Now, positive body Y is when we go up. That should be easy to remember because, you know, positive plus up. I'm just gonna shift click and drag this up a little bit. Yeah, that's a little too much. And then negative 30, of course, we're down a little bit and then you'll see a general look of how it will kind of be when you go up and down and then of course when your bar goes up and down your head will also go up and down now that i'm looking at my angles i'll fix that later if i ever get to it so here's our sketch at the moment now we're gonna go into the legs and as we did with the arms i'm gonna separate them into left and right all right so since i always start with my right side i'm gonna take my right leg everything in here and we're just gonna quickly standard mesh them with the auto mesher now for how i do body y for the legs this will warp them quite a bit so if you can try to make the warp really nice if you're copying me i'm just gonna auto heavy deformation it and it looks like it might be a little oh, no it's fine sometimes for these close-knit auto meshes they will cut off some of the edges but i think it's fine, I think. So, taking everything again, I'm gonna add a warp deformer and put body X, Y. Now, if you were doing a body X rig for your legs as well, I would actually rig the body X here first before we go into Y. But you can also do the other way too. I just think it's easier to do X's before we do Y's. Regardless, I'm gonna add a lot of these little gray dots here, the conversion divisions. Like I said before, if you have a not so great PC, the conversion divisions may or may not lag you a lot. I know in the past, a lot of people have had issues with those. So just a heads up, it did happen to me. So I kind of try to keep it low. But anyway, I'm also going to add more of uh, the gray dots in the middle. X is five is fine. And of course, make sure your best your edit type is a better smoothing one. Now I'm going to add keyframes to my body Y. We're going to go to positive 30. And I'm going to add temporary path deformers i did this in my hair physics video if you don't know how to do this i'm gonna add two here one at the knee since it bends at the knee one at the ankle and then one at the bottom of the foot making sure the two ends here are outside of the warp and then i'm gonna straighten out my legs as if i was going on my tippy toes making sure my legs line up to my hips here and then double checking if that looks okay it looks pretty wonky down here i'm gonna fix that All right, and once I have that done, I'm gonna actually out. All right, and now I'm gonna go over to negative 30, add in my path deformers to the same spots again. And now I'm gonna make the opposite and make it bend down a little. This will especially look different for everyone depending on how your legs are drawn. So just do the best with what you got. Some people's legs go straight forward and they have to do a squatting rig when they bend down like this. Up with my brush tool and then touching it up with just the little divisions here. 
Alright, this looks pretty decent to me. I'm just gonna grab that entire leg again and reflect it over like I did with the arms. This time I'm not gonna reflect the body wide because I want them to be the same. And then deleting my old leg. Now they go up and they both go up. They go down, they both go down. Now when you reflect them over, you'll probably see how weird they look. Now they got two in, like I see how weird it looks. So you can just edit one side again and then re-reflect that over. I will quickly do a little bit of editing before I go on to the next spot. Alright, that's looking a little better for my taste, but good enough for now. Okay, so let's go over and link our body X and Y physics. And if we move this around, we can see what our model is going to look like when we look around as well. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cute right now. But let's add more body Y to our upper body. So I'm going to first start with the arms. So I'll go to the arm I usually use. Something I like to do for my models is that when they look up, their arms will go up or down. And then when they look down, their arms will go up or down. For example, if I were to go up and I wanted my arms to go up as well, I would just like that. It's um, a little wonky right now. I'm just demonstrating, but it would be something like this. Or when you look up, you can put your arms in like that. I think both are cute. I think it also depends just on your preference on whether or not you want your arms up when you look up or down when you look up. But I'm actually going to put a another warp for body XY here. And for this body XY, I'm, I'm just going to put body Y physics on it. But I'm going to control, click and drag our warp box over to like shoulder here. Now when I take the red dots here and rotate them, my arm will rotate that area. You can just put rotation deformers on it, of course. So I just turned this warp deformer into a makeshift rotation deformer. So adding keyframes to my body Y. When I go up, arms go out. When I go down, my arms go in. Of course, you can just right click a keyform here and then hit reflect. This will do the opposite in case you want to test that out. You can also do this in VTube Studio. So you can test out which one you like better. I do like both, but for now, I'll just do up and up and down and down. But since we're rotating here, of course, the art's gonna look wonky. So I'm gonna go back to my original body XY that has my body X physics here and add body Y keyforms to this. So when I go to positive Y, I can tweak this. And then negative Y, that. Of course, I need to add more everything also I did the art for my sleeves really weird and these are not overlapping perfectly so I'm actually just gonna super tweak that all right now I have to fix everything once again I'm going to turn to the right and do the same thing here. Turn to the other side and do the same thing. If you have weird warping like I do here, see my line here is right at the top and then it goes deeper into the armpit here. You can honestly use invert clipping mask here and just copy other things over. I probably should have done that. So do that instead. <laughs> That'll be easier. Let's go and test this out. And it looks pretty clean so far. Of course, except the weird warping that I have to do because of my stuff sticking out. But I'll change that. Alright, so now that we have this side done, I'm just going to copy and paste the arm over and did what I did earlier. Alright, now let's test this out. It's looking a little more dynamic. Probably move my hips here a little more to match the belt there. That's an issue for later. Honestly, this is good enough for me. If you guys want to add more, of course, add in more warps if you'd want. And for those on the free version, I have no idea how many warps you have left after everything we just did with the face and everything. But if you do have some extra warps left, use them sparingly in the body section. Because most cases, everyone will just see this much of your model. But it's always fun to do the body and everything. 
especially for model showcases. All right, it is another new day of me recording. So last time, I'm pretty sure I just finished all the arm things for body X, Y. Yep. So now we're going to add body Y to the torso here. So I'm going to grab basically just everything on my torso, my necklace, my overalls, my belt, and my shirt. And I'm just going to test that to see if I got everything. Hypothetically, it would sort of look like this going up. So I'm going to group all of those into a body XY warp. And then adding three key forms to body Y, I'm going to go to positive Y. I'm just going to take the chest a bit and push it up like this. I'm going to stretch all my things here a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing to negative body Y. I'm going to place a grab down. Now after I have a little sketch of that with my deform brush tool, I'm going to add more little gray dots here. Make sure my Bezier edit type is to smooth all. And then I'm going to add more Bezier division numbers. And then I will edit this to be smoothed out to look a little less awkward. Alright, that's looking a little better. And obviously it's going to look pretty wonky because I don't have my shoulders and everything into this warp. So because of that, I'm actually just going to take my torso under here. Yours is probably separated differently, but I have it under this body XY. I can put this under the body XY I just rigged. So that it rigs the same. Now it doesn't hide as much. And now it doesn't show as much. Obviously we're going to have to edit everything else we did XY for, so all this looks right. But generally after just a little sketch rig like this, you're going to go back into all the little parts that need editing and give them its own body XY warp. Tweak all the little details for each corner and everything. So this will probably just be a big time lapse of me editing things, adding warps to everything. So sit back and enjoy, I guess. All right, I'd say I'm pretty finished with everything I wanted to rig in this video. Again, I'm sorry, I kind of threw some longer techniques. They use simpler methods, but they take longer. But since this is the first video into doing the body, I wanted to teach, you know, those ways first before we get into harder things like gluing a ton of stuff together and stuff like that, which we will probably start doing soon. And of course, everyone likes to use different techniques and using different techniques on certain things will make them look better. So I think it's good to learn everything you can and then apply them as you see fit. But anyway, since we finished all of that, we are just going to add physics now so everything can move. Once you open up your physics settings here, I will show you my physics settings for my bodies. So as always, you just hit add, name this whatever, body Y, body X, name this whatever you want. You'll be making two new ones, one for body X and one for body Y. And here are my settings for body X. My input is the default body X that comes with Live2D. So that's just normal body X. And then the type is angle, just like we did for the angles XYZ video. And the effectiveness is 100%. For our pendulums here, I have one pendulum. Here are my numbers. Feel free to pause and copy those. And then over to output settings. This is, of course, the new parameter you should have made at the very beginning of the video. This is, I named it body X physics, as you can see here. And that's what I've been rigging everything on. So an issue a lot of people had with the angle XYZ is that their scale was not correct. Your scale will probably be at default one. But of course, if you copy me, your range for your body X physics parameter is negative 30 to zero to positive 30. So you're gonna need a bigger output scale to actually cover all of those numbers. Cause if you leave this at scale one, it's gonna move a little tiny bit. 
So you're going to want to increase the scale. And if you play around with your model, you'll see the output number change. That is how much of the parameter is being output when you click and drag everything, aka inputting the numbers into your model. If your output is lower than 100, you can hit increase output and that should go to 100. Sometimes it might go over 100, but you might like how it looks over 100. Um, if you don't, just decrease the output here and that should set it back to 100, hopefully. If not, you can keep playing around with the scale number until you hit around 100. It's honestly up to you how much you want it to be like. And then here are my body Y physics settings. And then here are my body Y physics settings. Of course, input body Y, the default. Remember that it's an input parameter. When you go into VTube Studio, you are going to be inputting this number when you turn your head. Angle effectiveness, I do have it at 90, but you can increase it if you want. I do have it at 90. You know, around 90 to 100 is fine, so up to you. You can play around with it, see how it works. And then my pendulum for body Y is a little different here. Of course, with this one as well, you can play around with that to see what you like. Although whenever you're doing physics related things, I would test it out in your tracking program before tweaking because it will look different from you controlling it in Live 2D just because tracking varies from people to people. And depending on how good your tracking is, you might not be able to cover all of your rigged parameters, but that is an issue for another time. Output settings, of course, is the body Y physics parameter that we made. Effectiveness 100, scale, I have at 40. My output is about 100 too. My scale is just a little more because if you see here, I have a random sort of number for my scale. It's just because I auto outputted the number here. So my scale will automatically go to whatever it is, but it don't have to be exact. Just do whatever you think looks good. So hopefully your model is moving when you click and drag. If you can't click and drag, remember that you need to have your preview here, settings of the cursor tracking. You want to set your bodies to your mouse buttons. Of course, my body X is to mouse button X, which is when I click and drag left and right and my body y is to left mouse button y which is when i click and drag up and down yeah that remember to press ok so it gets set and then you can click and drag and it should work and we'll do a random here and you'll see why maybe a little dramatic here but yeah we have very basic body movement done and we will be adding more body stuff soon as well as physics for clothes and stuff and i'll be doing arm physics if you have nice thick thighs you want to jiggle or you want booba to jiggle doing physics for everything once you start learning how to do physics for different things it'll be easier to do physics for everything we will get to those eventually <laughs> also please ignore how bad my angle x y's are um i'll redo them one day but yeah that's about it for this tutorial if you have any issues please let me know in the comments i will try to reply if anyone else can go through the comments and reply with your expertise too please do but yeah that's the end for today I'm sorry this video took forever to get out. Um, I know in my last video I said I was gonna try to make a video like every week. But honestly, the last couple of weeks I have been really busy with some outside things. So, sorry guys. But we're almost done with our base rig. As you can see, I'm going up and down. You can't see my legs or anything, but I am moving sort of. Um, I will go over a couple more little base rig stuff and then teach you guys how to export everything into... YouTube studio and how to edit all of your settings and stuff. And then after that, I will be going over additional rigging things like iOS tracking and um, expression toggles, outfit toggles, etc, etc. So if you guys have anything specific you want to see, please let me know. But besides that, we have actually hit 12k today uh, as I'm recording this. And I'm going to upload this today, I swear. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for all of the support. I'm glad these tutorials are helpful. When you guys see me doing a bunch of random other videos, and you hate them, I'm sorry, but it's inevitable. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that'll be. Um, probably my next studio vlog since it is the end of the month coming up. And then I do have a different type of video after that coming up. Uh, but after that, I will be doing the body Z stepping and stuff, which hopefully won't take too long, but you know, it is kind of complicated. So we'll see. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.